Hello there, it's the one and only Demonic Abyss here to bring you scrubs some quality content. Now today, I figured I'd do a little something new. Something I'm relatively decent at is graphics design. I make all my thumbnails and make some pretty good stuff, despite how limited of, how limited of a software MS Paint is. And one thing I grew up doing is Pokemon Sprite. I used to take Pokemon sprites and fuse them into a new creation, sort of like the fucking Frankenstein's monster. This is a tactic known as fusing, fusing, you know? And in this video, I thought it'd be cool to show you guys a few tricks or two with MS Paint. Now, as you may have noticed, I have three Pokemon on my screen, Pikachu, Magikarp, and Growlithe. These are just three completely random things I pulled off of the internet. And I'm going to be taking these three completely different Pokemon and combining them into one. Alright. So the first thing we want to do is start off with a base. Uh, the Pokemon we're going to be working off of and then adding the extra parts onto. For a base, it all depends on what you want the overall shape of your Pokemon to be. I'm going to start off with Growlithe. I just think it would be the easiest to work with. So I'm going to copy it and paste it here. You always want to make copies of your sprites because if you screw up, then you have the original to work, go back to. Alright, I'm going to move these out of the way. Now, the next thing we have to decide on is the overall color and what we want our final project to look a bit like. I'm going to take Pikachu right now. And I'm going to give Growlithe Pikachu's color scheme and get, replace the head with Pikachu's and replace the tail. I feel like that'd be pretty interesting. We'd have like Pikachu on four legs, but with that little beard thing, and possibly we could keep the nose. I don't know. I'll, I'll decide on what I'm going to do overall. Now, we have freeform selection, which would make taking the head off a bit easier. It's going to be a little bit sloppy, but you work with what you can. All right. So we're going to move the head. We're going to take it off. As you can see, that kind of fucked up the body a bit, but that doesn't matter right now. We can always fix that. Alright, we're going to take Pikachu's head, and we are going to place it right here. No, we are going to place it right around here. This would be where the head originally was. I'd say, right, well... Actually, yeah, right there would be about perfect. Then we're going to take Pikachu's outline, we're going to zoom in a bit, and we're going to draw the outline so we can make it a bit more connected. The size should be about here. That would be about accurate compared to what we last left off with. And if we just do this, that would make it a bit better. And we also want to get rid of this so we can make it a bit more solid of a project. There, now we have a bit of an outline. I'd say that's pretty good for what it is. And now we want to continue off with this. We are going to we are going to bring the beard up a bit, draw it up to here, and then we will take this color, color it in, and then we will take the shading. Shading basically gives this a bit more of a realistic feature. All right. We want to copy the shading pattern about as accurately as possible. I'm not the best with shading, but I think that looks pretty decent. I mean, compared to what it could be. And we also want to keep the same shading pattern with the outline as well. We want to keep the same color scheme. I know I kind of did that. I changed the outline here whenever I was connecting the Pikachu head. But for the beard, you want to keep everything fluid. You want everything to be a bit more... Well, I don't think fluid's the word, but you want everything to match. You want it to look normal. I'm not used to making these tutorial videos. I just thought it'd be really fun to try out. All right, and now we are going to give Pikachu, or yeah, the Fusion, the color scheme of Pikachu. So we are going to take the lighter colors of Growlithe's body and color that in yellow. And then the darker parts will be this yellow. Now it's going to be a little weird, but can always fix that later on when we do the finished project. When we aim for the finished product. Alright. And there we go. That looks pretty decent for what, right now, for what it is. And you can continue the stripes right now. We are going to actually keep the stripes because that gives it a bit more... That gives it a bit more of that fusion particle. 
that that fusion uh, quality that we like. I'm like really concentrated right now, so I apologize if I'm not making a lot of sense. This is just something you really have to concentrate on. It's hard to com like to commentate and do a tutorial video at the same time because I'm doing this live. I'm not reading off a script or anything. All right. So now we have this. We're also gonna do that. There we go. So that connects the body a bit. See, look at the Pikachu right now. You can see where it's about to fuse. It's not perfect. You can see some orange from where the Growlithe was. But we are going to work on that. Is the project I have so far. We have the beard, we have the tail, and we have the color scheme of Pikachu, alright? We have this is basically what I have so far. It's not a finished project, alright? If I were to enter this into a Pokemon spreading contest, I'd probably get like a D, alright? It's not an absolute mess, but it's not exactly finished. It's obvious that it's not finished. The main thing we want to work on here is the beard, alright? It doesn't look all that... It just looks a little... It just looks pasted on there. So maybe we want to add, like, a mustache, alright, to make it a bit more... There, you know. got a little beard right there. It's not perfect, but I'd say it looks a bit better than what was there before. Alright, and now we are going to get the tail part of Pikachu. For that, we are just going to have to erase this tail entirely, which we can do. And another cool, tick, another cool trick to increase the size of your eraser, you just put control and then plus on the side of your keyboard. And then it can get pretty big, depending on what size you need. I figure a big eraser is pretty good. Get, it gets things done quicker, but if you want more precision, you probably want to get this size. Depends on what the size of your sprite is, but yeah. So there we go. We got rid of the tail completely, and now we are going to take this tail and just put it right on. Shouldn't be that hard. Alright. Now we got this. We're going to place it right around here. That way, it should fit on quite nicely. Now we're also going to make the rear this brownish color as well, so it matches. So it's not just, you know, sticking right up. There we go. There we go. Alright, oh, make, maybe make the entire rear. I misjudged the, the length of that. Alright, we're going to take this just do that. Alright. There we go. Now, would you look at that? Would you look at that? We have something right there. Wait. Okay, we're actually gonna take... We gotta save the rear as well. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. That looks a bit better. Yeah, that looks... That looks pretty good. Alright, we got Growlithe with the Pikachu color scheme and that fancy little beard. And now, what we might want to do as well is actually make the beard brown. That way it matches with Pikachu's color scheme too. So we're going to do that. Well, actually, I don't know how that would look. Eh, I'd say that looks pretty good. And now we want to color in the new outline, which we will get from Pikachu's tail. That actually changes the color a bit. Okay, well, we might want to make that darker ourselves and just put this. That might be a good outline color. Will that blend in with that, though? I don't know. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Pretty good. Pretty good. Well, actually, we're just going to make it darker ourselves. 
make it even darker because that matches perfectly with the dark shade that we had before. So we're just going to do that. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we're making it a bit natural. Putting our own colors into the mix. Now, we have a Pikachu on four legs with a beard. It's pretty good stuff right there. Now, you may be wondering, where does the Magikarp factor into this? Well, I figured the Magikarp would provide some extras, alright? That way we can just be a little bit creative. We have this crown thing here, which we could use, I guess, to give Pikachu a bit of crown. Alright, we're gonna flip that horizontally, and then we are going to take that off. And this is just kind of the accessories part where you improvise, where you make, you just give them a little bit of pizzazz, alright? Make them look a bit unique. Alright, there we go. We got a crown right there. And then we're also going to change the outline of that so it matches. We have a little tuft of hair sticking out of him. It's an interesting creature of sorts. Let's actually fix that. That's bugging me a little bit. Alright. Then get rid of this little thing right there. Get rid of the black sparks. Black spots. That's a bit. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And then, we are also going to give him the whiskers, because the whiskers would just provide a bit more to the beard. Alright. Let's get rid of the Magikarp part of this. And there we go. We're gonna take the beard, the whiskers, place this one right... Well, actually, yeah, let's, let's, let's place some out of his little cheek things. And then we could put this one right here. Looks pretty good, I'd say. And then we are also going to make these brown as well, to match the color scheme we got going on here. The lighter spots would be this, and then the darker spots would be the darker brown. That's what you gotta do with shading. You just follow this pattern of the original shading right there. Take the outline of this and just draw around it. Now my hand's a bit shaky, but this is going to simulate what you will be facing as a beginner. Right? Your work's not going to be perfect, and I am actually really rusty, so my work's not going to be perfect either. It's just how it is. Magikarp's lips and put them onto Pikachu because hey, I'd say that may add that look pretty good. Just as a finished project. Finished product. And then we will take the outline and just make it a bit better. And we are also going to switch the tongue a bit as well, just so it's not like up there. And also, the lighter part would go up here, and the darker part would go down there. Just so you are aware. But we're actually going to make this right here. And here we are. 
our finished product, a combination of Pikachu, Growlithe, and Magikarp. We have Magikarp's little whiskers, his crown thing, his lips, we have Pikachu's color scheme, head, tail, and Growlithe body, and beard. Alright, now by no means is this a work of art. If I were to submit this into a Pokemon spreading contest, I'd probably get like a fucking C, possibly. Maybe a C minus, alright. It's about average. It's not a Picasso. And I, I, okay. I usually do a bit better than this, but because of the conditions I'm in right now, I'm recording, I have anxiety, it's really hot in my room, I'm not gonna produce a quality piece of artwork while being recorded. And I've never done a tutorial video as well, so I have to concentrate on commentating, and that screws up my spriting a little bit. It's like how a lot of people do worse at when they're playing games and let's plays because they're focusing on commentating as well, as well as the game, so it's a balancing act. It's not going to be perfect. But I figured this would be a good tutorial, alright, for you to have a basis, a basic knowledge of how to Pokemon Sprite. And then from here on, you can learn the rest of it yourself, how to save like a pro, how to make good quality artwork, and how to be amazing at graphics design. Alright, hopefully this was easy enough for you to learn. I think watching from example would be a great thing, a great way to learn. That's how I learn, watching other people do things, and then following it by example. So yeah, um, if you enjoyed this tutorial video, if it wasn't completely awkward and completely cringy, leave a like down below. If you learned something, let me know down in the comments. If you had no clue how to do this, and you somehow created a nice piece of artwork, hey, that's great, and I accomplished my goal. And you could even send me what you made over Twitter. Uh, this is definitely something really cool to make. It's really fun to do, especially to see the results. And then you make this really weird, this monster, this absurd light form, this abomination to society, alright? It's really cool to see what you can come up with. Like this, it's just a meme, right? This is just meme-worthy right here. So yeah, uh, that's all from Demonic Abyss. I already said that. Um, subscribe to see more quality-ass content. Thank you for watching, and have a gloriously glorious day. I could have decapitated an entire village and put their heads on a plate. Got the knife, cut open their spleen, and drink their fluids. Does that sound good to you? Uh, no, not really, no. For your information, there's a lot more to ogres than people think. Example? Example? Okay, um, ogres are like onions. They stink? Yes. No. Oh, they make you cry? No. Oh, you leave them out in the sun, they get all brown, start sprouting little white hair. No. Layers. Onions have layers. Ogres have layers. Onions have layers. You get it. We both have layers. <sighs> oh, you both have layers. Oh. You know, not everybody likes onions. Cakes! Everybody loves cakes! Cakes have layers! I don't care what everyone likes. <laughs>